7 I team tonight investigating a severe shortage of the most popular drug for people with lupus, a potentially disabling autoimmune disease. And this shortage follows President Trump's repeated mention of this medication as a possible coronavirus treatment, despite that usage not being approved by the FDA. Our investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy with details tonight. President Trump first mentioned the drug last Thursday, said it had tremendous promise in fighting coronavirus. From that point on, for those with lupus, it became a problem. I've been taking it for 15 years. I have lupus. Terry Edwards takes this drug to maintain some control of her lupus condition. Sometimes hydroxychloroquine is known by the brand name Plaquenil. But by whatever name, for the 1.5 million people in this country who have lupus, it is a powerful drug that allows them to lead normal lives. There is a large body of evidence that shows that this medication is life-saving. Lupus expert Dr. Rosalind Ramsey Goldman has been on staff at Northwestern since 1991 and is a long-standing member of the Lupus Society of Illinois' Medical Advisory Board. We're at very challenging times right now where um, our Physicians are trying to decide what's the best treatment for the patients that we're caring for already, as well as answering the challenge of the public health uh, crisis that's ongoing, where that might intersect with our routine care of our patients. At that intersection for Terry Edwards and other lupus patients was their local pharmacy. Out of the drug they depend on, apparently because some doctors started prescribing it to healthy people in case they were to come down with coronavirus. I think that it's unethical for doctors to do that unless there's a real reason for it. I would say that it would be very hard to justify giving someone a prescription um, for a medication uh, just in case. I have heard uh, anecdotally that people are doing this. I have heard that patients are requesting that this be done for their family members. I understand why they would want to do something, but please rely on the scientists. And despite no U.S. clinical testing results of the drug for use on coronavirus or FDA approval of its use for COVID-19, President Trump continues to tout it, even today suggesting it is a miracle drug for those with coronavirus. A gentleman, they thought he was not going to make it. He said goodbye to his family. They had given him the drug just a little while before, but he thought it was over. His family thought he was uh, going to die. And a number of hours later, he woke up, felt good. I think that uh, good ethics starts with good medicine, and good medicine starts with um, some level of um, science to uh, to guide the decisions that we make. Please understand, we do want to do the right thing. We don't want to withhold treatment, but we don't want to harm you. I don't think I'm more valuable or less valuable, but I think that for sure the medical community should be um, safeguarded. The state should be careful to make sure that people that need this medicine should still have access to it. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.